Motorcycle Live 2019. I'm sat here on a TT stand with the two brothers. Lap record holding winning boys, Ben and Tom Burchill. Guys, it's getting a little bit boring for me talking to you two. You do everything perfect, you keep winning, there's nothing really you're doing wrong. How was uh, 2019 for you? Fantastic, uh, yeah, thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, great year again, you know, it's um, it's just nice to be in this position where, where things go good for us, you know, it's racing's difficult, it's hard, it's hard work and, and that, but it's, it's nice to be able to just sit back like now and think, yeah, another good year. <laughs> You know, another another great TT for you, of course. You're on the pace. You are the men to beat, of course, uh, in the in the sidecar class. You never sit still. You know, uh, both of you. I know you, you you're obviously a great pairing, but you don't sit still. You're always looking about how you can go faster and how you can improve. You, you're already quite a bit faster than uh, the opposition. However, you won't sit still. No, we can't. And I really hope that he doesn't sit still. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> that will slow us down. But um, no, it's. Uh, you know, racing's racing, and it's it's especially at Isle of Man. It's about that track and and that stopwatch in it. You know, so we we just constantly try and improve it and move it forward. And and obviously with our manufacturing side, we pass that on. We bring that in into the bikes that we build, and uh, and hopefully bring the whole job up and and along with it. You know, Tom. Obviously, you've got to be fit. Obviously, I've experienced the back of your your cycle at a slower pace. Uh, you have to be fit for your job, you know, on your on your downtime at this time of year, I know you're obviously still busy in the workshop uh, building and getting things ready for 2020, but can you ever relax and get out, have a few beers and get get some uh, some junk food into you? I'm not scared of having a pint, no. That junk food, not into it at all. My missus keeps trying to get a Chinese, but I just won't have it. <laughs> it shazam when I'm not there. But no, no we're, yeah, we're normal blokes. It's like, you know, we, we met up last night, had a pint, you know, just chewed the fat a bit and you know move things on a bit that way but fitness is I on the list of priorities I mean I'm never going to be the bloke at the end of the race to say sorry mate I had to slow you down because I'm flagging you know I won't do that job and I know he won't so we push each other forward that way as well but you know being fit keeps you keeps your focus keeps the mind right you know so that's a huge part of it but a lot of work's coming up so fitting it in a, around it you know that does get tricky but we drive each other on that's what keeps it moving it's what keeps it fresh you know if I'm down he'll pick me up and, and vice versa. 2000, 2020 is obviously getting very close you know uh, what exactly are your plans for next year and especially with the round of TT course? I mean the plan is to to prepare as best we can as we always do and you know try and get three fast laps under his belts for each race day that is the goal but we want to move things forward and you know we, we, we want to keep striving for that that 120 mile an hour mark you know that's what sort of on the list next but you know we're not complacent we don't expect it um we got back to us 119 this year which nobody thought we'd do with the amount of track time that you know got took off us with the weather and everything so i think yeah ben said it early on a fourth lap of of the uh, tt fortnight you know we got back to our lap record pace so that's promising and you know and that's nice to be able to to have it sort of under your belt but you know there's a there's a big number looking at us and there. Uh, we want, we want it, you know, that's, that's the goal. Ben, you know, I was chatting with Michael Rutter earlier. He's been racing at the TT now for 25 years, you know, and still winning, uh, doing, doing a fantastic job, you know. And uh, But my point being really is that the circuit's changed dramatically over the years. It changes every year with different tarmac patches, bumps, this and that. Do you ever get over and work on the, any areas in between the TT that you're not really happy with yourself at, at your own pace? Yeah, try to. Just try and... and uh and just be there a little bit, spend some time and just keep familiar with it. It's it's sort of, for me, I never put TT down. We never stop talking about it. And like Tom says, the minute we get a pint of beer in our hand, that's what we talk about. And, you know, if we're driving down here, we talk about it. And it, I think that's the key to it, just to be pretty obsessed with it, really. And, and it, you know, it seems to work for, for us and, and for me and my approach to it. It's, it's that, yeah, I'll get over and have a poke round and... Have a look where it leaves are landing and whatnot, as you do, and as, as I'm sure you can remember doing, and uh, just keep it familiar, keep it in your in your mind. But you know, also it, it starts when it starts, and it's it's about that fortnight, and you find out what that track's like really when you get that first tap on shoulder for practice, and and it's then that you've got to learn where the leaves are on the trees that year, where the sun is, and the difference it's made if there's been any building work done and things like that you know the list goes on and on but that's just part of it 
You know, as far as uh, the chassis, the engine, your tyre, is there anything different for 2020? Or are you happy with everything from, from a previous year? We're really happy with what we've, what we've got, what we've built, and, you know, the, the people and the companies that are involved with us. We've got a bit of an opening that way on if, 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 for, for next year, but we're going to go with quite a different approach chassis-wise. Um, you know, it's been, it's been great for the last sort of four or five years now, that configuration. So we're going we're gonna to change that a little bit and see how it goes. But I think the key point is to also be able to revert back to what we, what we know. So we're always a little bit on the, the side of caution. But no, we've, it'll be interesting. And, uh, you know, we've got some good help with Honda. It's going to be powered by Honda next year again. And they're quite interested in what we're doing. So it's great, really. Well, I'm the opposite to the rest of the competitors. I want to see you going faster and doing that 120. The rest of them, I'm sure they're not. They want you to slow down. Good luck for 2020 and keep up the good work. Thank Cheers, you. guys. Cheers.